It was never on my radar to go into the ministry. There was a time when I just couldn't see how God could pull together the shambles of who I was, you know, and, and still be able to use it and do something with it. Definitely I wondered why me, because like I said, I had these, you know, for me, these glaring mistakes in my past, and I just was like, why? why? Um, well, I never saw a burning bush, you know, mm -hmm. like Moses did, um, but I did definitely experience some things that I just couldn't. At some point, I had to stop denying that this was actually what I was supposed to do. I just kept saying, God, just tell me what you want me to do. Just tell me what you want me to do. And I kept waiting for, like, it to be sky, you know, written in the stars or something. I didn't know how to hear that, and so that's why, um, like I say, I, I was. It was just, just tell me what to do, God, and I'll do it. I want to be obedient. I want to be your channel. I want to be, you know, your servant. It was a very gradual turning for me. The ship turned very slowly. So I decided to go back to school. I went to graduate school. I called it graduate school. It was seminary. And what started out as graduate school turned into, um, turned into the, the, the path for becoming a minister. Probably the biggest uh, challenge at that point was we were having teenage children and just trying to manage them and get them through the, the education and, and out of the roost and on their own. So it went from mom being around all the time to mom's in class, mom's studying, don't bother mom, <laughs> leave mom alone. And Tim, he just, he had to pick up, I mean, he was, he was already working full time, you know, had his law practice, and he picked up a lot of slack. Well, I think you have to recognize that God is opening doors for you to move through if you're willing to do it. And, 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 and that's the path of least resistance, <laughs> is to go through those doors. And it's, you might just try to say it's just coincidence or this really isn't what I want to do, but you have to think about it and then realize that that is what you're called to do. You have some gifts or you'll be given some gifts and uh, experiences that'll help you, help you do what you've been called to do. Stop trying to control the call. I was trying to control God's call in my life. What I've come to terms with and what I realized is that God called all of me. He called every part of me, you know. So I have some things, you know, from my past that I'm not particularly proud of that, that have affected our relationship, affected our, our marriage and our family. And I just wanted to like put that, you know, in a box and lock it up. And God keeps wanting me to somehow, you know, bring it into to my ministry. And so I wanted to control that to the extent that I've let go and say, okay, if, this, if I'm supposed to talk about this, if I'm supposed to be real about these things, you know, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, just tell me what to do. So yeah, my advice is don't control the call and believe that God really is calling every part of you and not just the shiny part.